Right, I'm switching over from Measure for Measure to Twelfth Night, and I'm going to read Orsino's If Music Be the Food of Love, Play On. Now, I think this is such a great monologue, but not necessarily the best for auditions, because I think Orsino is just kind of playing at love. It can be quite cheesy, which can be great for the comic potential, but if you're auditioning and you're trying to show your um, genuine, soulful nature, then maybe not so great. So comedy, yes. Drama, no. And of course, in production, it really sets the tone for the rest of the play. I believe that Orsino, like many of the other characters in play in Twelfth Night, are sort of playing on the idea of love. Like he thinks he's in love, but he's not really. And Olivia's sort of playing on that mourning idea. And really, Violet comes in as someone that feels things quite genuinely and sort of shakes them up because they see this this genuine love in her and genuine emotion and <laughs> genuine everything I guess she's a lot more genuine than the rest than most of the other characters so I'm going to play for a very cheesy Orsino for tonight but I'd love your thoughts on what you love to see in Orsino and what you love about Twelfth Night because it's awesome all right here we go if music be the food of love Play on, give me excess of it. Let surfeiting the appetite may sicken, and so die. Let strain again, I've had a dying fall. Oh, it came o'er my ear like the sweet sound that breathes upon a bank of violets, stealing and giving odor. Enough, no more. Tis not so sweet now as it was before. Oh, spirit of love, how quick and fresh art thou, that notwithstanding thy capacity receiveth as the sea. Nought enters there of what validity and pitch soar, but falls into abatement and low price, even in a minute. So full of shapes is fancy that it alone is high fantastical. Oh, it's such a load of rubbish in a way, isn't it? He's just kind of... It, it sort of reminds me of like early Romeo in, in the beginning of Romeo and Juliet where he, he really he really just wants to play the lover so bad that some of the stuff he says, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's also kind of just full of BS. But, you know, it depends on your take on it. So that's it for this one. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one.